Catherine, you are in the Oscar-nominated movie, Wild. Can you tell me a little bit about your character in the film? Sure. I play a hiker that uh, Reese Witherspoon meets along the way in her journey. I'm the only other female hiker. With, I mean, there are other female hikers in the world, but it was just an unusual thing. And uh, we have a, a scene where we kind of are encouraging each other, looking at the sunset and... <laughs> Do roles like this ever surprise you when you get them? Are you ever shocked that they've picked you? Kind of always shocked. It's always a shocking career the way, you know. But, you know, I, I do my work and I work hard to get get what I get. Um, but, yeah, every time you get it, you feel like you won the lottery. Every time then, you get a part, yeah. And then it's nominated for an Oscar. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, it, it, Reese is nominated for the uh, the Best Actress Oscar, and it's getting all this heat. And it, it's and it's such a beautiful movie, whether it's nominated or not nominated. It's such a touching, m moving, uh, encouraging movie. And it's just so... It's so great to be a part of that as an actor, as, a, as an artist, to be part of something that encourages people. And because um, a lot of, you know, there's, it, it, there are many beautiful works of art, but to be part of something that actually is encouraging is so rare and, and just uh, so glad. And to take my viewers through a little bit of the plot, just in case they haven't yet seen the movie, it is about a life struggle. Yes, absolutely. She, uh, well, it's a true story. It's Cheryl Strayed. It, uh, her autobiography uh, is is the book Wild. It was actually on the Oprah Book Club, and so it's her journey. It takes takes place in the '90s, and she goes through all this tragic stuff after her mother passes away. So her mother passes away, and she's trying to make sense of her life. She goes through heroin addiction, and and throws her marriage away, and she she just kind of throws her life away. And she's trying to find some meaning to her life. And so she takes herself on this, gives herself this task of this thousand mile hike along the Pacific Crest Trail, and. She just does it to see what she's made of, and so it's her journey. And it's a, it's a simple story. It's not like, oh my gosh, this blew up and that terrible thing happened. And you know, it's uh, it's really a life affirming, simple story. Great. Well, that's something I think we all need to see every now and then. You know, it's it's not all about action. It's not about the guns and animation, even, but the simple things in life and and how you're gonna get through them. Yeah, I agree. I, 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 you know, the guns and the and the cars and all that. That's fun. It's great. And sometimes we need that. I don't think we need guns. But <laughs> actually, you guys don't have any guns up there. Really you are don't. so lucky. Oh my God! I don't know what we're thinking down here. But um, but anyway, yeah. I, I think I think it's a universal movie too. It's not just it's not just for women or you know. I think my husband saw it. He was so moved and. It's it's very life affirming. It's about honoring yourself, no matter what your past. I like it. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, and I hope the movie does well at the Oscars this week. Thank you so much.